Hello, my name is Patricia, and I will be presenting the paper Creativity Encounters Between Children and Robots. This work was performed alongside my supervisors Patricia Arriaga and Anna Paiva, and in collaboration with Matt Cronin. This work is also part of my PhD project. So, creativity is characterized to be at the heart of what it means to be human. Creativity is a skill related with a sense of wonder, self-expression, and identity. It is also related with new forms of learning and problem solving, being an important transferable skill. Creativity contributes to moods of joy, pleasure, excitement, and efficiency in personal and professional lives. Most importantly, creativity is a protective skill with benefits in different areas of human development, growth, and well-being. But our creativity levels are dynamic and likely to change throughout our life. The first major oscillation in creative abilities occurs at the age of 7 years old. At this age, an intense decrease in creativity levels occurs, and this phenomenon is called the creativity crisis. There are several reasons associated with this major decrease, such as the formal and traditional education that values standardized knowledge over creative problem solving or divergent thinking. There is also conformity behaviors towards peers, biological changes, and even economic factors that can restrict or foster access to stimuli. The good news is that creativity is a skill that can be developed if trained. However, existing creativity training programs for children are rare and the existing ones resemble test-like formats, lacking elements of joy and play that are essential to children's engagement. So given the willingness and benefits of children interacting with technology, we aim to test the impact of a social robot on children's creativity levels. And for this, we have used the YOLO robot. YOLO is a small-sized robot with about 10 centimeters that children can easily grab and go during play. Children interact with YOLO using touch, movement, and lights. Let me show you an interaction. So, children grab YOLO as a toy and a character in the stories, and they create stories around the robot using the robot as a character. So to study YOLO, we developed three study conditions. In the first study condition, YOLO exhibited two creativity techniques. The first creativity technique is called mirroring, in which the robot mimics the same play movement that children performed. In the second creativity technique is called contrasting and the robot performs different play movements compared to what children did. We call this the simple condition. So let me show you a video. Based on creativity research, the robot uses two techniques to stimulate creativity. When using the contrast technique, YOLO gives opposite ideas. This stimulates divergent thinking. When using the mirror technique, YOLO elaborates on the same idea, stimulating convergent thinking. In the second study condition, YOLO exhibited creativity techniques plus social behaviors, such as proactive behaviors, and we call this condition the enhanced condition. In the third condition, it is our control. So, YOLO was basically turned off. So, the goal of this study was to understand and investigate if YOLO can be a tool to increase children's creativity levels during play. We had 62 children between 7 to 9 years old, and we performed this study in summer camp. So, the first step was to, have, to welcome children Secondly, the researcher number one applied a questionnaire to children. Then the researcher number two comes and introduces YOLO, and children can explore what to do with a robot. And then the storytelling activity starts. 
Then the, the first researcher applies the questionnaires. We have used two researchers to administer the procedure to control for experimental bias. And we have measured creativity taking into account pre and post testing, so the traditional form of measurement, and also the creative process, in which we perform behavioral analysis of the stories that children created with YOLO. And the behavioral analysis was comprised of fluency. So if children performed few ideas for the story or many ideas, we also analyzed for flexibility. So how different I, the categories of ideas are and elaboration. So how deep do the children go in detail into their ideas? We also saw how original they are. So how rare and novel the ideas are. The creative process is messy, but very rich because it is when we allow for behaviors of exploration. So we hypothesize that the creativity will be higher in the simple and enhanced conditions compared to the control condition in terms of the creative person, so pre and post testing, but also in terms of the creative process of children. Our results show that there is an increase in the creativity levels from the pre-test to the post-test, and this increase occurs in all study condition. In terms of fluency, we had no differences between conditions. So children uh, emerged with the same, um, the same number of ideas in study conditions. But we had a result in terms of flexibility in which more ideas for the characters were emerging between the enhanced and the control conditions. Elaboration also provided significant results and children elaborated more on ideas related with the story actions. So despite more different ideas being generated for the characters, as we saw in the flexibility, children elaborated more on ideas related with actions. In terms of the originality, we could see that the more original ideas are present in the simple condition. This means that in this condition, the stories that children created were more rare and with novel content. It seems that having a robot with only behaviors to simulate creativity can have a stronger effect on the creativity of children. We also use responsible research guidelines. So we pre-registered our study and all of the materials used are, in, are, are available in open access. So the take home message is basically that we tested the fully autonomous robot to increase creativity in children. And our results show that no differences in creative abilities are encountered between the conditions. But when we look at the creative process, we can see that children provide richer ideas when they're playing with a robot that also displays creativity techniques. So thank you so much for listening and I'm happy to receive any questions, comments or feedback via email.